I'm Carrie Johnson and I'm a sprint kayaker. Here at the Olympic Training Center, life is based around your sport. We come down and we train in the morning, we go eat, we you know, rest, we come back and we train again. Sprint kayaking is, I usually explain it as similar to track and field on the water. It's an incredible feeling when you get the boat up to top speed and it, the boat lifts up out of the water, just flows. I can feel the difference. In 2003, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. The initial symptoms started almost like a stomach flu or something. I was getting really tired, really fast, not being able to keep up with the workouts. Stomach pain, abdominal pain, cramping, diarrhea, frequent trips to the bathroom. I'd continually go back to the doctor and they'd do different tests. They weren't able to figure out exactly what it was. They would try and clear up the symptoms, but never really discovered the cause. Carrie continued to try to paddle when the symptoms first came up. But then when they got more severe, I mean, she had, to, she had to stop. She went through numerous, numerous tests, and she said, I can't, you know, I can't do this. And she cried. She said, it hurts. It's, you know, an invasion of my privacy. You know, I don't know what's happening to my body. The last doctor they sent me to was a proctologist. He was actually the person that made the initial like, suggestion that it could be Crohn's disease. I had actually never met someone that has Crohn's disease. The fact that, you know, there's no cure, that was a very scary, uh, very scary moment. I started reading and all the possibilities just became extremely overwhelming. I was depressed and felt really isolated and scared. Being able to look into the positive things that I could still do was what got me out of that. This was something that was happening to me and I, I wanted to be in control of what it was. Once I got the symptoms more under control, I wanted to get back to training and as soon as I could. <laughs> you really have to, I think, try it to understand the amount of effort it takes and to be out there three, four times a day, you know, and to have the goal to be the best in the world, I mean, it's, it's inspiring, you know, no matter what. But to add in a complication like Crohn's disease, I mean, it's, it's, it's very impressive to watch her go out there. Okay, 50 meter more, and then turn, and we start here again. There are really good days when I feel, you know, 100% normal. <laughs> and, you know, there are days when you just feel, you know, really weak, really sick. But at some point, you have to take responsibility for the, you know, for the disease. Just like you have to take responsibility for anything you do in life. I think anyone that, that has Crohn's disease, um, if they've got a good working relationship with their physician, and as long as they're getting what they need, um, nutrient-wise, sleep-wise, recovery-wise, anyone with Crohn's disease can be active whether that's at a recreational level or an elite level like Carrie. There's a mental aspect to sport and there's a mental aspect to dealing with Crohn's disease. You have to stay positive. You can't just focus on not feeling well and continually bringing yourself down. Oh, are we letting go? Yes, I am. When I saw her at the Olympics and, you know, paddling down her lane, I was so proud of her to think of what she had overcome and, and um, proud that she met her goal. No one should feel bad about having Crohn's. I just have to do, you know, what I know I am capable of. Sit on the start line, you know, look down the course and do your race. You know, that, that's all you can do.